Hello, you awesome people. Uh, we are in uh, the Golden Hills Valley, because if you remember, we uh, sort of have a problem here by Jasper's house. Uh, some Pandoric stuff has throw, throw, well, they threw up on him. And we have gotten some help from Pi, uh, the witch Pi, and maybe she has a solution for us now. I've thought a lot about it, Rose, but I haven't come up with anything. Wait! I have an idea! I know. We build a shadow trap to catch all the awful shadow seekers, but I'm not sure how. Here we are, quiet. Let me think. We're going to need some kind of sack to keep them in. Uh, let's start there. What are you, we going to use to catch them? Well, um, hmm. look, the thing mountain air is making me dizzy. I can't think. Right to the fishing village and speak with my husband, Klaus. He is clever, and I'm sure he will come up with something. Okie dokie. Let's see if he can come up with something. Because we need to fix this problem. I mean, we can't all have all these purple stones lying around. Just doesn't go with the rest of Golden Hills Valley. It's, um, it's a bit purple. And this golden leafy, leafy, leafy um, nature. And so we're going to see Klaus. Uh, maybe he has something he wants to say to his wife. I mean, they haven't seen each other yet. Oh. Hmm, such a sad, sad love story. I mean, they loved each other and then she turned into a witch. That is just so, so sad. So sad. <laughs> it's quite a long way to ride. Ridey ride, ride, ride. And I don't have any music on, um, because of the reason that we have Jojo Siva in Fort Pinta, and uh, I know I'm nowhere near Fort Pinta at the moment, but I just don't want to risk getting there, her music being on, and then me having to uh, remove the sound, because I will probably get a mail saying, oh, you're playing her music, and blah. Uh, so I just got the solution. I'm not going to have any music on for the time being until she is gone from Fort Pinta. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not saying that I'm hoping she will be gone because those dancing moves that we got with her is just amazing. If you haven't seen the dancing moves, go to Fort Pinta when she's playing and do the dance. You got some awesome dance going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see now. Here we are with Klaus. Major Klaus. We need something that is strong enough to trap the Shadow Seekers. What exactly is a shadow seeker anyway? Sounds mysterious. You should talk to my wife, this is more kind of her thing. Really? She sent you here? Uh huh, L let me think. Rose, I got it. My old scuba tank that I used for underwater archaeology work was built specifically to resist impact and heavy pressure. I'm sure it is capable of holding a few intern infernal shadow seekers without any trouble at all. Unfortunately, it's not here. Ah, yeah. I loaned my tank to Mr. Kate Round, who was going to try some cod fishing underwater. Tell him you need to borrow it. After all, if he really set on pursuing underwater fishing, he has had plenty of time to get his own scuba gear sorted. Okie dokie. So let's see now. Oh. <sighs> so sensitive, Yaris. So, so sensitive. Trow! I haven't done any fishing in a while, I remember. Sorry. Close scuba tank. <laughs> yes, I borrowed it, but it's not here anymore. Really? <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, Rose. I thought diving was easy, but when I went to fill their air tank, I must have done something wrong. I think I put too much air in it, because suddenly the wall flew off and the tank took off like a rocket straight up into the air. I didn't see where it went, but it must have landed somewhere in the village. How, how will you find it? 
It must have made quite an impact wherever it landed. If you ready ride somewhere high, you might be able to see what happened to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it just flew away and you went like, Nah, not my problem anymore. <laughs> it's like, what, what if it landed on someone? What if someone died? I mean, oh. So the highest point here is obviously uh, this place. And now it is glittering. So let's see if we can so let's see oh I see a big hole over here over here in the corner <laughs> that poor human got something through her roof and porch uh, so oh and over there it is um and just thought of like nah not my problem apparently <laughs> thank you um I hope you gotta have an insurance for that. Uh, I really do. <laughs> nothing went wrong, Klaus. Nothing went lo wrong. Um. <laughs> hmm. la, 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 la. Stop, stop, stop. You found a scoop of tank rose. Well done. The wall, well, you know, you need that too. Well, I don't really know where it is. You know, when the scuba tank took off like a rocket, I was terrified and I jumped off, uh, jumped out of the way. I think I must have dropped the wall into the water here, but you know what? If you borrow my magnetic fishing rod that I invented for fishing your region iron hearing, you might be able to find it. I'm sure it's on the bottom somewhere close by, so it shouldn't be too hard. Good luck. Oh, crying out loud, dude. Hold my horse. <laughs> oh, okay, we're doing fishing. No, I was too slow. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. M. <sighs> Nothing is happening. Oh, oh, no! Uh, apparently, the metal thing that is not alive got away. <laughs> hmm. No, it still got away. It's quite a tricky little metal thingy. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yay! That was way too harder than it should be. Uh. See, Rose, you can solve any problem with a fishing rod. <laughs> now let's see. There, now the wall is attached to the scuba tank again. There, now you have a perfectly fine scuba tank. A little rusty, maybe, but it will work just fine. Tell Klaus that underwater fishing is in my cup of tea. My float just came straight up to the surface all the time and I never got a bite. <laughs> yeah. Not that surprised. But good luck trying finding new things, t new methods to fish. What do I know about fishing? Hmm. Here we go. Hey there, there it is, my old scuba tank! Mm -hmm. Oh look, Rose, this old scuba tank should be able to hold a few shadow seekers easily. Take the tank to my old wife and give her my regards. Oh, mm -hmm. don't you want to say that you miss her? You should say you miss her. I mean, it's been a while. <laughs> Oi, I was looking at something else, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. Okay, so now we have a long way back. Way, way back. I haven't been recording for quite a while because I haven't had the time. And then I was like, when I posted episode 207, I was like, shit, I don't have any videos in the bank. Um, I have to record. <laughs> like, now. Uh, so, it's Sunday as I am recording and this episode, well... 
you see it now on a Monday. I recorded this yesterday. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> it's so hard to balance YouTubing and real life and all that stuff. And now when it's starting to go to spring and summer, everyone wants to just go out and do stuff. And who am I to say no? Well, it's fine. This Sunday I am going to be all home and just chilling, recording, and just chilling again. And doing some more recording, and watching the World Cup final and show jumping. Uh, tomorrow when you see these we all know who won, but I'm so excited. It's gonna be so exciting. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Where did all the stones go? Hmm. Did you clean up here? A scuba tank? How will that really work? Hmm, a scuba tank. I need to cast a very strong spell on it, but it just might work. Now we need to find a way to get the Shadow Seekers into the tank. How do we do that? Who should we ask about that? Don't ask me, I'm all dizzy from the thin air up here. Jasper, you think Jasper might be able to help? His barn is full of kind, all kinds of stuff. Oh, okay, worth a try, I suppose. Right over there and ask him. And we're off again. But seriously, what happened to all the stones? <laughs> Did it rain again or something? Made them disappear? No one knows. No one knows. We all just had to deal with it. Nope. Okay, that didn't work. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, why? Keep on going. Wee. <laughs> the horse has gotten t way too sensitive lately, if you ask me. Like, oh my god, the ground is so far down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, hi Jasper. You need to trap Shadow Seekers in a scuba tank? Are you mad? Hello there, Rose. I have finally managed to haul away all those stones. It wasn't easy. Water? What? I could have just poured water on them and they would have melted. You could have told me that before. It cost me a sprained back and two shovels to get them all of out of there. Mm. But what did you say? Catching shadows? Catching shadow shakers, uh -huh. I have no idea, but I, I look in the barn and see if there is anything you can use. There is all kind of old junk in there. <laughs> so it was you who cleaned. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could have said uh, something about the um, that you could juice water. Oh well, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, I see something glittering. It looks like a... Like a like a vacuum cleaner. Hmm. I guess it could be useful. We. Hmm. <laughs> ah. A vacuum cleaner. Ah, ah you're a funny one, Rose. Mm. Uh, come on. I'm not quite sure what you are thinking, but go ahead and take the vacuum cleaner. It hasn't been used since bell-bottom pants were fashionable. And those were the days they called me the King of Fort Painter. Did you know that? When I got up on the dance floor, everyone would give away. Nobody could compare with me in the disco dancing. I mean, look at those moves, people! <laughs> I feel the old fire in my legs again just thinking about it. Watch now and all you'll see in some real disco dancing. Yes, I feel like a young man again. I'm going to invite the Baroness to the disco and show you, you youngster, how it is done. Come on now, woohoo! One and two and ouch, ouch! I threw my back again. That was jump of me. Good thing I have a cane. Uh, run back to the witch with that old vacuum cleaner. Go on, get out! 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm s bye. Hope you feel better soon. Oh dear. Not my fault. I didn't tell him to dance. Jeez. Oh well. Pain can do that to you sometimes. You get a bit cranky, so let's leave him to it. Uh, maybe he'll feel a bit better later. Huh. <laughs> so we're gonna vacuum these people. <laughs> or these things. Not people. They're not people. They're things. They're evil, evil things. So we're gonna vacuum them. A vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh. What should we do with the vacuum cleaner? Let me think. This thin air doesn't do much for reasoning. Give me some uh, thick swamp air any time. It's wonderful for thinking. Come back tomorrow. Okay, so I was thinking before we end this episode, we're going to go to Dundal. Because uh, I sort of have a thing there that I think won't take too long to do. And I want to do it before... Now I'm going to probably bite me in the ass, but... I don't think it is that long. Anyway. So we're gonna see. Either this is gonna bite me in the ass, or it's gonna be as short as I thought, and yay for me then! So we're going to get the transport and go to Dunda. But anyway, it's gonna be a long trip there, so... Uh, I'll see you by Alonso! And we are back here... Uh, with Alonso. Hello, dude. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rose. I've got a couple more challenges if you and Jarvis are up for it. You are? That's great. Martin and I have set up two races. One is fairly easy and the other one is a bit trickier. We can start with the easy one first. A simple loop through Bramble Gorge with a few jumps to keep things interesting. Let's see how fast you can go as a team. Oh boy, I am usually quite okay with these races, but now I'm recording and the game just uh, doesn't feel good with the recording app on. Uh, so let's see how this goes. But anyway, we're going here. I know I should have put it on music for this one. Oh well. Uh, maybe I can have it in the background. <laughs> Uh, I actually really like this race before, uh, except for, well, that, um, and the fact that the, it is also really short time to run, and uh, so you have to really focus when you do these races, otherwise it's gonna take some time. <laughs> so we're going down here, da 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 it feels really long for this. Uh, for uh, ex uh, feels really long as well, uh, but I don't. Know, I like this race. I like the jumps. It's a bit tricky. I like tricky, but the only thing that really bugs me is that, um, well, that the time is so short. So you don't really want to do this with a newbie horse, because then you're gonna be ugh, so annoying. <laughs> Up here, and we're going here. <laughs> here we go, and jump, almost go. It's really, really good. It's really good. Uh, and some go. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two. Oh my god, it's so close. <laughs> okay. Uh, great effort. I'm impressed with how you handled those jumps. Oh, stop it, you. Uh, you're, you've shown me that you and Jarvis ride really well together. I think you're ready for a little more challenge. Let's see how you handle the race trail I set up in South Mistfall Forest. There are a lot more sharp turns and tricky terrain, but it's nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Ready to give it a go? Yay! <laughs> this is even worse, but we'll do our best. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going down here, and then we go here, up 
here. And then turning. You already probably know all the good ways to do this to get the run faster. I just happy if I get f to the control without failing. <laughs> Um, da 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 ba da ba da 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 This one is a lot shorter, uh, but it is, as he said, a, l a bit tricky. Uh, I think I did this race like five times before, <laughs> uh, before I actually got to the goal, because <laughs> I thought it was a bit tricky. Uh, especially at one point, as we're getting close to this point, Right here, I really didn't know where to go. I always got stuck in the stones and all that. Jump. And and then, yeah. Uh, but once you get past that, it's all good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what it is tricky is the time. Time is the tricky part. Um, and not a fan of that. Not bad, Rose. I'm sure you can improve your time now that you're familiar with the trace, uh, with the track. Come back when you want to try again. So that was that. Uh, basically, I'm gonna build some more reputation so we can continue stuff in here. And we have to wait for uh, everything to settle with, well, for her to be done with the vacuum cleaner. But I think in the next episode, we're heading back to Epona to see what we can do to, well, help Herman. I mean... Herman is still stuck with the GED, and what are we doing here? Oh, right, we had to wait because the other lady had to, like, shake me up or something. Well, it's weird. Anyway, in the meantime, people, stay awesome, as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!